Ian, can you describe how you're feeling after that? Um, I'm pleased in one way. I thought we played some really good stuff. I think we moved the ball really well. Um, we're obviously struggling to break teams down, as you see again today. We've, uh, we've got in some really good areas. I think the final decision, final pass, wasn't to the level we expected. And they're all things we've got to go and work on. We've had a lot of possession again today. We've had that nearly every game. I think the frustration is being at home. We've got to go and get at teams and try and get some goals. And today we've got in some wonderful positions, but our final cross, final shot, final decision wasn't good enough. And they're all the things we've got to continue working with. And how frustrating is it in a game like this where it seemed like one goal might win it to have the ball in the net and have it pulled back for... Well, as I said, at times you got to, you need a little bit of luck in football. Um, I felt we got the luck there. I thought we celebrated, but the referee sees something that... Apparently there's this rule now you can't run in front of the wall or you can't be in a metre of the wall, but I thought that had all stopped. As I say, it, it, they changed from one, one year to the other wheel, so at the moment I don't know really what the, what the rule is. I've had to go with the referee's decision, but you know we've been punished for a foul on the edge of the box. When Sean's going to get a shot away, would he have scored with that shot if he hadn't have been fouled? So what's happened is the referee is, has made it correct by get, disallowing the goal, but Sean much short scored to the, with a shot leading up to the foul. So we've been punished, really, a double punishment there. Um, and there were the things, you just say, you need a little bit of luck in football. I thought the second half we were outstanding. I thought some of the passing, some of our movement, some of the, the, the runs that Zane picked up balls and run at people. The only thing as I will say to you is uh, is our decision making, our final final shot, final cross um, is lacking and it's letting us down, especially in, in, in the home games. As we've seen, we've probably had a lot of possession against Hungerford and again today and we haven't picked up uh, maximum points, which has stopped us progressing up the league. And do you see it as a compliment how much Taunton sat off for that entire second half? Do you think that shows the threats you're causing? Well, I think it's been like that since the FA Cup. You know, we can say we were poor second half of the season. I don't think we were that poor. I just think teams gave us respect. The difference this year, this year is last year we would have lost that game. Um, we've managed to get, we've managed to get ourselves ourself better behind the ball, um, and, and we can still attack teams. But we've got to make sure that we've got people behind the ball defending. And as I say, you know, we've got to have, we've got to be better in the final third. Got in some great areas today. You know, Zane, how Zane's not hit the target, I've just asked him in there, he's on the 18-yard box in the middle of the goal, and he hasn't hit the target. They're the questions I have to ask people. They're the things we have to keep working on. You know, for me, Zane should be scoring in that area, and he hasn't done it. And he's had two or three shots today. He's had one in the first half that the keeper's parried out. He's got on the end of it, and he's put it over, over an open goal. You know, we've had three or four, maybe five really good chances today, uh, and we failed, to, we failed to convert any of them. And obviously, just two days to the next game, the hardest thing about these is worrying about injuries. Are you glad that you got through today and no one seemed to pick up a knock? Well, you say that, we've probably got two or three in at the moment, they're getting some treatment. Um, uh, and we've just got to see how they, they recover over the next 48 hours. That's all we can do. We've got a squad, we've got to see where the squad is. We've got to see with, you know, with some of the players in terms of... Devont has been out for nearly be a year on Monday since he's been out. Um, two games in 48 hours probably isn't what he needs at this stage of his, uh, of his comeback. Um, so we just have to see where we are. We'll patch everybody up, we'll get everybody there and uh, we'll go out with a squad in terms of, uh, of what we got and, and that's all we can do at this stage. All right, thank you. Ian. Cheers, Will.